All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we are now at a point within this story where everyone's life is about to start changing drastically. And the entire story of this game is going to pick up at a pace unimaginable. And I'm super excited and very anxious as well. And this is... You know what? Let's just keep going. We're right now in Saint Denis. We've done a lot of, lot of, lot of good side character missions. And um, if we actually take a look at the map, I'm going to go ahead here and put on my headphones. But if we take a look at the map, we can see that we have nothing else in Saint Denis for the time being. And then we've got one new mission with Sadie Adler. And before we do that mission, okay, just because it's, it's going to be an important mission. Before we do that mission, we are going to go and we're going to travel to Valentine. Because if you guys remember, since the beginning of time, we've been doing this mission where we had to get all the gunslingers and stuff like that. And we now have a side mission, which is directly connected to that. We've gotten all the four gunslingers, I think there were. And now we have this new one that just popped up. You've dealt with all the gunslingers. Go to Callaway and Levin with the findings. So what we're going to do, we are going to get on our horse. A lot of you I've seen, a lot of you have been telling me to, to go to the, to go to the stable and get the, uh, the black stallion that I can buy it and stuff like, not the black stallion, the black Arabian horse that I can buy it. And I will buy it. But later on in the story, later, later on, if you know what I mean. I have, a, I have an emotional connection to this white Arabian for Arthur Morgan. A very deep emotional connection. And I want to keep that as true as possible. Hold on, what is this? I've never... Really? You like my horse, girl? Yeah. How can I help you? Hmm. This is cool. Have fun reading. Hmm. Never bought a newspaper before. Will you walk, please? Take a train robbed. <laughs> Look at this. A private train owned by the railroad sugar and oil man, uh, magnates. Uh, Leviticus Cornwall was robbed in broad daylight by Miss by masked outlaws headed north towards the Grizzlies. The outlaws boarded and stopped the train shortly after it had departed from West Elizabeth. Initial cables sent as of printing time indicated the bloody takeover occurred in order to steal railroad bonds from the personal car of Mr. Cornwall. Shortly after the robbery, the train was set in motion. Hey, what the hell? Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, I gotta read this real quick. I just paid like 19 cents of this shit. Shortly after the robbery, the train was set in motion without a driver or crew, barreling dangerously throughout the area at a high rate of speed. The train was eventually brought to a stop by engineers and lawmen north of Ansberg. Reported a scene of violent struggle and bloody carnage on, on board. Some engineers and guards from the train survived the slaughter, but were too startled to report much. Information of that. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy all the other newspapers because we're going to read this later. Hello. We're going to read this crap. And this right here basically Take a good one there. I already bought this one, but I don't know. Please take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. Alright, cool. I've never I've never bought a newspaper before, but I'm kinda glad I did. We're gonna end up reading those. So we'll see. That's basically talking about us, obviously. Oh what the hell? You know? It's talking about us and a robbery that we did a, a few episodes back. Yeah, we are going to go take a ride. Coachman, take a ride. Right. We're going to go to Valentine. I've said this before, but this game, the atmosphere, everything reminds me of like Back to the Future. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. But especially the one where they go into like, you know, the Wild West. And maybe a part of that, not only due to the characters and the story of this game within itself, it's, it's perfect. 
But I feel like a part of that also makes me love this game more, you know? It really does remind me of that movie for some reason. All right, so here we go. We have arrived. We have arrived at Valentine. Appreciate Thankfully, my horse ride. travels at the speed of light, and it's already here. <laughs> I miss being here, man. This was very, very cowboyish down here. Down in Saint Denis, it's it's a little bit more um, I don't know, more city-like. It's more like uh, the end of the cowboy days over there. Oatmeal, pork, and beans, squirrel boil, and pickled eggs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis on a riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay then. Are you kidding me? You I are. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to San Denis and have oh, some Oh, bro, look at the bullet holes. They're still here. I can do. You let me know. Bro, look at the bullet holes. That is crazy. Wow. Damn. Fred sure don't like people looking at him funny. Thanks, partner. I love that. Thanks, partner. <laughs> I cannot believe this man, by the way, just made me come all the way over here. Just to go back to Saint Denis. Well, you know what? You know what I say? I say screw you, man. I'm gonna go here real quick. We're gonna do that mission. We are 100 percent But But we gotta do some other stuff too, man. We we gotta what exactly we gotta check these missions out. Ooh. You want trouble with me? Are you okay there, sir? Hey, hey Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. Uh, mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but read all about it. Read all how about, about it. you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item? On my tab. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, are you seem like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life? Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter, you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Wow, dude. Hey, what can I do for I you? I believe that's one of the guys we saved. Told me I could grab something on his tab. <laughs> One with the bite in his leg. I love this guy. Oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Wow, dude. <sighs> These are things I, I never did before, to be honest. Let me see the damage on that shit. Much better. Yeah, I'm going to go with the volcanic. Fine choice. I'll let him know. <laughs> Bye I think now. I think I don't have this one. I'm pretty sure I don't. I have one that's similar, but I don't think I have it. Is all of this going to go on this tab too? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, scorpion looks nice. And the varnish. That just hits different, man. That's different. Right? That's a different breed right there. Make sure this is good to go. This is also a pretty one, dude. I clean that bad boy up. Like new. Excellent condition. All right, so. Okay, girl. Let's go back over here. My friend, you there. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? 
to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry. What do I feel like I'm gonna get robbed? Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Great. Please put us out of our misery. Ready? Good shot, sir. I didn't back. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. <laughs> well, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Okay, okay, maybe I do that out of aim. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen, silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle is here. Why? I must be the bravest. Excellent. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn Bro, somersaults. What the uh, shoot heck? Me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate. <laughs> <activate. laughs> oh, man, that's awesome, bro. I think Valentine is is one of my favorite uh, towns in the whole game, to be honest. Although, was, was this being built here before when we started? I think it was, right? All right, so let's take a look at the map here. What do we have? We've got, um, I think we have another mission available. What is, what is this? Eagle flies. Oh, that's the, uh, other mission we got to do with Eagle flies. And then we've got Wilton Holmes. Should probably go over there to strawberry. All right. Thank you. Perfect. That was your problem. Oof. Sorry guys, I almost ran you over. Now right, where's this? Oh no, this is the jail. I'm not gonna do that right now. Hold on, we gotta go to this mission up here. Alright, here we go. Search for Wilton Holmes. Is that so? Ah, he's probably up here. 100%. He's sleeping. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Wilton. Wilton Holmes. Oh, Wilton. Not Wilton. Run into Jesus no Christ. Mm. Funny. How far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. 
I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt will more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Oh, please. Dude, he's so gangster. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. You know, the more that I play these side missions, the, I mean, I'm already Arthur is already one of my all-time favorite characters ever, ever in anything. Boy, let's get where we're going. But the more we get to know him through these side missions, man. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job with limited prospects at those rates repayment was by no means guaranteed i said i'd do my best and i did you're continuing to annoy me we're going right here up the stream oh very nice Dude, it's been raining for like the last 15 minutes hey how about this then I guarantee we pay Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> Love him, dude. What a guy. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you see this one. I've been hunting with my pa, shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Oh, damn, we're over here? We're coming further than I thought. Holy smokes. It's gotta be the cave right there. Oh. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. No. Bro, what is this, bro? This is insane. Get. Now, where's my. Wait, don't I have a lantern? The hell's my lantern? Oh my god. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for Yeah, yeah. So it was actually under my knife section. Oof. Yo, this is trippy, huh? <laughs> what the hell? Holmes? Quentin Holmes? Don't tell me he died. Dead, dead. 
Bro, where is this freaking cougar? There's dead bodies everywhere here. Oh, whoa, 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 oh! Holy fuck! What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on. First, let me pick up my dad's hat. Son of a... <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. What's up, dude? Are we going to pick up the hat or what? Now we're going to skin your ass. Man, that is crazy, dude. We get the teeth? It's what? Better be rare. Bro, oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Man, this is creepy as heck. Let me tell you, that cougar was living good over here. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if there's something else on this side. There's nuts, and I dropped the pelt. I'm definitely gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take care of this pelt. There's some good pelt right here. My cougar pelt. Poor guy, man. He freaking died, man. You see, that's like when, when, when a game gives you a character and the character starts explaining to you about his life and his past as a child, and then more often times than not, the, that yeah, person's gonna die. Aw. That's so sad. That's so sad. Animal pelts, uh, hides, meats, and other items can be sold at the butcher. Come on, girl. All right, yeah. we're gonna take this over to the the butcher, and then we're probably gonna take that money. That was a phenomenal mission. That was phenomenal. And here we are again with the freaking rain. What's up with that? That was just wonderful. So freaking good. Let's see if we can go down this way. Okay there. Yeah, we can't. Oh god. Of course we can. My, my name is Arthur Morgan, damn it. You gotta tell me how to traverse these freaking terrains. I'm the wildest of the wildest, of the wildest of the cowboys. Ooh, sexy turn right there. All right, the butcher was right up over here towards the entrance. There was another one in Valentine, but we're not gonna go there. That would be silly. Everybody loves my horse. So these are the alligator tooth, the turkey feather. Let's go to... 
There we go. Okay. 41 bucks. That successfully recovered. You, uh, need more time before you buy? Nah, we're good. What up, gear? Hello. What up, punk ass? Alright. Listen, I know it can be confusing, but that's because you have a log in your eye. Hello. I know I have one in mind. Is that so? I want to talk to you today about the great miracle of holy passion. Yes, passion. Passion is what drives us all. It is what drives me. It drives me to serve you, to bring you the great news. The great news that you are saved today. If only you will follow me and do as I say, so we can spend eternity together. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Do you want to be saved? Uh, yes. Desperately. Well, that's wonderful news. You are. That's really all there is to it. Just do more good things and less bad ones, and we can be together for all of eternity. You and me? Yes. Forever? <sighs> Great. It's funny, though, because that, that, believe it or not, is something so insignificant. Yep. It really is more significant than you think, because in reality, that's talking about your honor. If you have high honor in this game, you know, you get a good ending. If you don't, you have not such a good ending. You in need of transport, sir? Yes, sir, I do. We're going to Saint Denis, sir. So, partner, can I get a ride? Where are we going today? Can you take Saint me to Denis. Saint Denis, please? Or Saint Denis. Settle in, then. This will be a long. We are headed to where we've been wanting to go. <laughs> since the beginning of this episode but i'm kind of glad we drifted off man we did some really interesting stuff back there you guys crazy you know who i am bro isn't this the same freaking ferry we were at the week right there this is the famous grand corrigan hey I'm looking for boy Callaway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Callaway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. It if seems quick, like he's more catch him sober. It's more important than we thought, huh? Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well, especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass me? Uh, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... <laughs> you, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I, I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. 
You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Hey, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk <laughs> and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. <laughs> he ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. <laughs> well, that was um that's the last and final one you guys were telling me about locate and capture slim grants come on my little white arabian you got this look at all of the trees they've chopped down here it used to be probably most certainly a damn forest back in the days hansburg <laughs> All right, here we go. So my horses flee out of here. I'm gonna take everything that I need, just in case. I don't know how this is gonna pop off. I guess some dead out here as well. Little booze. Perfect. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the uh. hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Slim so Grant in the outlaw camp. So how far is that camp? Dude, we're coming up to the end of this video. We haven't done any <laughs> main missions. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Oh my god. Alright, good. I thought the train was going to come this way. I was like, oh crap. We did. Even though we haven't done a main mission, I do feel like this. I do feel like this. Um, this episode has been phenomenal. And I'm doing these now because there's going to be a point in time where we're probably not going to be able to do these. That's why I've been kind of a little bit more heavy on the side quest for now. That horse is beautiful. Damn it. Oh, my life just flashed before my eyes. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, good girl. yeah, I gotta give my horse something, man. This fucking horse is taking a beating today.
Where is this man? Oh, he's right over there. Yep, that's him, all right. Flee, baby. You gotta go. Like that, Grant? I'm a savage. Favor, Mr. Grant, it's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm State Marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you going to tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. All right, so we're going to stall him here. Now, I have no idea where it is we have to take this man. Like, how far we gotta go. Oh, it's not even. Oh. That's right, because we don't have to go all the way back to San Denis. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. Oh boy, where till he finds out? <laughs> it's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. <laughs> that is pretty brilliant. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit. I'm saving you. This is just a... Uh, Little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. This is it. Down wow, here. look at that horse. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a beautiful horse. Powerful compact war horses that can be identified by their thick mane. Wow. That is a beautiful horse. This mission has come a long way. This guy and his freaking four gunslingers we had to kill, and then now this guy, Slim Grant. <laughs> so you got him. <laughs> I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one, didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care <laughs> now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you. Oh. Wow, well, bro. If that settles that, then. I shot him back. I wow. Shot him the goddamn back. 
God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! I feel bad killing him, okay? Truth be told. I tried shooting his hand to see if I could... Shit! <laughs> Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free! I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one! Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. <laughs> he did. <laughs> in the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, yeah, that's it. Wow. Nice to the <laughs> well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Wow, oh, look at this freaking beautiful waterfall here. Wow. Callaway's revolver. Wow. Oh, isn't that the same shit we just bought? Similar to the one we bought. Ooh. Wow. Is it that one? Jesus. It's this one. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. You should be able to get this one back, right? I'm pretty sure we are, or we can. I probably shouldn't loot him. Probably not good to loot him. Slim Grant. Damn. Alright, so check it out. Today's video... Took a turn of events that I was not expecting. And well, we ended up doing things that um, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to do. I thought we were going to be able to do at least one more mission, like a main mission like we always do. But hey, just dedicated this full video to side quests and side characters. And it was one hell of a time. I've said it before, when I first did this a couple of episodes ago, it felt like a completely different game. Things that I've never experienced. And I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did as well. And ultimately, if you did, drop it a like. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one.